the field of partner uh, violence or domestic violence has been very politicized. Now, uh, let's go back. I, I don't want to spend a lot of time going over this, but I think it's important to just go back. Let's go back 35 years, back into the 1970s, uh, okay. when uh, domestic, there were really few, if any, domestic violence laws on the books in the United States. It was, of course, it's always been illegal to hit uh, and to assault people, and, uh, and people were as arrested in the 60s and 70s for domestic violence, but uh, there were no statutes, for example, uh, against uh, uh, marital rape. Marital rape was not against the law. Um, uh, stalking laws were not put into effect for partner abuse-related crimes until the 70s. So uh, the people who advocated on behalf of victims of domestic violence were, um, were women and men who basically, at least in the beginning, uh, advocated for women. And as I said before, the research is clear that women are more impacted. Uh, they suffer more injuries, they're more likely to go to the hospital, they're more likely to be killed than our male victims. So therefore, in the 70s and 80s, the domestic violence uh, advocacy movement uh, focused on battered women. And uh, the problem is that at that time, there were two uh, separate kind of movements or schools of thought in terms of how to conceptualize and, and treat domestic violence. And one was a feminist approach, which was favored by advocates, the, the very same people that pushed legislatures around the country to enact domestic violence laws to protect battered women. And then uh, there were the researchers, such as Murray Strauss at the uh, University of New Hampshire and others, who took a more scientific, empirically based approach to the study of domestic violence. And uh, the, what happened was that the individuals who took a more feminist, uh, sociocultural approach uh, uh, had the most influence, uh, frankly, because they were the more uh, uh, likely to be working in the field, in the front lines, and actively lobbying uh, the legislatures. So, uh, which was fine at the beginning, uh, but it has presented problems since then because uh, the the power that the the, the the victims' advocates uh, were able to secure, which was uh, understandably necessary in order to sway legislatures to take domestic violence seriously. That power, in my opinion, and the opinion of many scholars today, that opinion has, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, uh, power has been misused uh, in the sense that, for example, um, government-sponsored studies on domestic violence rarely, if ever, allow study of male victims or female perpetrators or mutual violence or uh, interventions such as couples counseling which uh, can be uh, fraught with politics and controversy. Uh, the, the, the major piece of legislation that was put into law in the United States to, uh, to combat domestic violence was the Violence Against Women Act signed in 1996 into law by Bill Clinton and it's called the Violence Against Women Act. So. Only recently did VAWA uh, language uh, to reflect the reality of male victims. So it's been a long road. Uh, there's some vested interest in keeping the status quo. There are uh, individuals who are ideologues who, uh, against all uh, empirical evidence to the contrary, will insist that domestic violence is a gendered problem. And then there are people who just simply don't know the facts. So they, for example, I've, I've given talks at many shelters, battered women's shelters, and when I speak to advocates for battered women on a one-on-one -on -one basis, when I see them at, in their work, and we discuss the needs of victims, uh, whether they're male or female, we have a, we have a lot in common. And, uh, and, it, and it turns out that a lot of individuals uh, who work in the field, um, not all of them, but a number of them uh, come to the field because of their own previous experiences with abuse. And sometimes individuals generalize from their own experiences. So the whole idea of scholarship, the whole idea of, the, of using the scientific method to, uh, to the subjects such as domestic violence is to find, is to find some clarity um, that can you know, illustrate the problem beyond simply uh, subjective opinions and uh, personal experience. Um, I see some, some signs of progress in, uh, in terms of the politics, as insofar as scholars are now publishing a lot more articles in our journal and others uh, showing uh, gender symmetry 
uh, in domestic violence and uh, taking seriously sub such subjects as uh, female perpetrators and male victims. But in terms of public policy, uh, unfortunately, the picture does not look that great. I don't see a lot of major legislation that's um, that's really uh, uh, you know move forward uh, uh, to reflect the the uh, new findings in, in the field. For the most part, uh, domestic violence in the United States con it continues to be framed as a women's issue.